What is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so pumped about this video because I'm going to be talking to you about ND filters. On, off, on, off. Basically, it's like if you're in the sun like I am now, the sun is really bright, right? So if I put glasses on, I can now see a whole lot better. And even though the sun's shining in my face, I can get the shot, etc. You understand. Essentially, that's what that does to your camera. Within these three pockets, you have 16, 32, and 64. That number pertains to how intense your filter can be to your camera. For example, my shutter speed right now without any ND filter on there is 1250, 1250 with a 2.8 aperture. Now I like 2.8 because depth of field, right? And so it's just, I like the bokeh. Uh, and ISO 100. But if I were to just put an ND filter on this camera, squirrel, if I were to put an ND filter on this camera, this footage would change drastically. Let me show you what I mean. This is what happens. Now you notice how my image just got dark. I'm still here, I'm still outside. But watch what happens when I change my shutter speed or lower my shutter speed to the correct shutter speed, which would be 50 because I'm at 24 frames a second. Even with the 64 PL ND filter, my image is super dark, which that tells me this will help in future scenarios. Now watch what happens when I take this off. Super bright. So you saw what it does to the image. Now watch what happens when I grab my, my ND filter 16 PL. A little bit lighter in the effect, but now you have an image that, oh, I could work with that. Now this image right here that you're seeing, that's what happens when you use Sandmark's filters. This is the ND16 slash PL filter. Now when you're outside in, you know, in the middle of the winter like I am right now, these filters can help you maneuver contrast, your light, and exposure so much more gracefully than not having any filters on there because when you don't have any ND filters on your camera, it limits your creativity. It can limit your workflow with the camera. When you're filming in 24 frames a second like I am right now, Usually you want to double your shutter speed. That's where your shutter speed should land so that you can get the best quality video, the best looking video. For me, that would mean I would have to be filming at 1 50th of a second for my shutter speed, 2.8 an aperture because I like that depth of field, we've already talked about this, and ISO 100 because I'm outside, I don't need artificial light from the camera. Well, like I said before, if I were to take this off, I'm completely blown out and that's why earlier, I had to boost that shutter speed to 1250. 1,250, I don't want that. On, off, on, off. Now you can understand the difference as to why you would need a polarized ND filter. Having a polarized ND filter with you or a neutral density filter allows you to have more creative control over your look of the film, over the look of your video. It just, it does, like I've just showed you before. Can you see and now understand where these filters, these different filters can apply to you and your filmmaking? I would highly, highly encourage you to get out there and try these Sandmark filters. Sandmark, this is the Hybrid Pro filters, the, th the three pack here. It's going to be worth every penny. It's going to be worth your time because you could have the best setup in the world. You could have the best lens, the best body, the best microphone on top. You could have the best scenery, right? But if you're not marrying a good quality lens and filter with your body and lens, then you have crappy footage. Without having this thing on your camera, you're like kind of sh shooting in the dark. Well, that not really in the dark, but you're shooting in, in the blown out, you know, sun. And you don't want that. Personally, in the last few weeks, I've used the 16PL ND filter, which is this one. And then I've used the 32, this one right here. The 64 is kind of like, in my opinion, overkill, but necessary. I haven't, I don't have a need for it yet, but I'm sure I will in the future. Just my videos and my workflow, the way I do things, 16 and 32 have worked really, really well. And for all my vlog stuff that you've seen lately in the last four weeks, I've only used the Sandmark filter, the 16PL filter, and it's, it's glorious. I thank you so much, Sandmark. 